So the final part of the tree is to make this kind of elliptical canopy portion to it that will sit behind the leaves and the tree trunk. Uh, and, and in essence, that really is a clue to how we would make this. Um, we'd start with the ellipse tool, draw this out, and then we'll tweak it afterwards to match the pencil sketch. So it's not quite as, as uniform, uh, elliptical or circular shape. So I'm going to go over to the tools panel, click and hold down on the rectangle tool, which is currently visible for me in the tools panel, and then hover over the ellipse tool and left click on that to make it active. If you remember, I changed the colours of the fill uh, in the previous exercise when I was transforming the leaves. So I will go back to the fill and then just choose to set that to none for now and then press return. The stroke set to black still and it's at one point. I'm going to hover my ellipse tool level with the left edge of the pencil sketch, also level with the top edge of the pencil sketch. That's the best starting point. And then click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag across in here down to the lower right hand side and then just roughly match that on screen. So that will probably be about fine for now. Let go of the mouse. All ellipses are made of four anchor points, one on each side, uh, top, bottom, left and right. Of course, from here, I now need to go back to the direct selection tool. The bounding box then disappears, and then I will left click on each anchor point in turn and just drag it a little bit closer to the pencil sketch. Again, at this side, click and then click and drag just to reposition that. And then it will probably then require me to click on the top anchor point and then go to the handle on the left hand side just to pull that out a little bit further. And then down to the bottom and just pull these handles out further to fill out because it's not quite reaching that curvature on the pencil sketch. Lengthen the handle just to fill the curvature out a touch more in there. And then with that done, switch back to my selection tool and you can, of course, pick a colour for your tree now, if you like, for your canopy. So I'll left click on there and um, I'm going to go for a darker green on there and then press return. Now, you'll notice, of course, that uh, everything else that we drew before has been hidden because of Illustrator's default drawing mode, which is every time you draw something, it draws it in front of the previous shape. So the simple answer to that, right click on the selected object, go down to the arrange option. And then from that sub menu, choose send to back. You'll then see your leaves. You can then left click on your tree trunk, go back to the fill color chip, and then we'll pick a brown from in there. So if I pick this one here, you can pick whichever one you wish to. I might go a little bit darker actually, just a one darker. Yeah, that's, I'm a bit happy with that. Um, and then at this point, I would suggest that if you wanted to then remove the stroke, well, they all have the same stroke appearance applied. So you could just click and drag with a selection tool across all of those shapes and then go to the stroke option, click in that and then choose none. That's the quickest way because um, you can do it all at once, of course, rather than clicking on each shape separately and removing the stroke. Those are different techniques for working with a pen tool. Please be sure to check out the bonus exercises where we delve into that in a lot more detail. We've got several examples to work through using the pen tool. But uh, in terms of this segment of the course, that is done. You can go up to the file menu and then choose save. Now, if we haven't saved this file before, it will say to us that this is a legacy format. That's probably because when it was last saved, it was an older version of Illustrator. That's fine. You can click on don't show again if you like, and then um, I'll click on OK. That just allows us to be able to save over the, the older version of the original file, but it's just letting us know. And then finally, I'll go to file and then choose close.